This is I'm Stark, and in this video we will be looking at the Berlin blockade. So first of all we will look at the causes of the Berlin blockade before looking at the American responses. So on June the 18th, 1948, the new Western-backed Deutschmark was introduced into Western Germany, and this replaced the Reichsmark. Now this was one of the main causes of the Berlin blockade, however there had also been many hostilities between the East and the West, which had been brewing over the years since the division of Germany and Berlin at Yalta. So I've talked about many of these hostilities in previous videos, and these included Winston Churchill's Iron Curtain speech, the US foreign policy based on containment in the Truman Doctrine, Soviet hostilities about the Marshall Plan and the eventual creation of West Germany and the division between East and West. So in late 1947 discussions over Germany broke down with the accusations of the West violating the Potsdam Conference and in March 1948 the Soviets withdrew from the Allied Control Council which administered Berlin. So this meant that on June the 24th of uh, 1948, only six days after the new Western back Deutschmark was introduced, the Soviet Union blocked all road and rail links into Western Berlin from Western Germany. Now this was because they believed that the new currency went against the Potsdam Conference. So they ultimately banned the Deutschmark from East Germany and they replaced it with the East German Mark. Now this wasn't the only reason I have mentioned about the hostilities, however this was the main reason for the Berlin blockade. So the American obviously had to respond to this and this was because West Berlin only had 36 days of food and 45 days of coal. So this meant that the West could either surrender their sector to the communists, let the city starve or act proactively which would ultimately risk aggravating the Soviets. So Britain's Foreign Secretary Ernest Bevan was the prime mover in the Allied response and he believed that the Soviets main aim was to spread communism across the whole of Germany and Berlin was the first step. And he believed that the West had to keep West Berlin supplied with the essentials instead of using any force. Now US General Clay also agreed with this and he believed that any withdrawal from Berlin also threatened democracy in the whole of Germany. So Berlin was extremely important for the whole of Germany as a whole. However, an airlift did seem extremely optimistic as they did have to deliver 2,000 tonnes a day and each plane only carried 2.5 tonnes. Now this did mean that it was extremely hazardous and there were many accidents when there was a slight loss of concentration. However, overall these airlifts were a great success as it provided all Berliners with this lifeline and the Soviets didn't intervene. Now instead the Soviets did just try and attempt to lure West Berliners to the east with offers of food, however most did refuse. So eventually Stalin did have to admit to failure and in May 1949 he ended the blockade. So it had failed to prevent the creation of West Germany and containment had clearly been a success, one of the first examples of it being a success, however it was also clear that Europe had now been divided. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.